Welcome Coaster Spotters to Lake Mott Park. This is actually the second visit here. It's August 1st. First visit, unfortunately, we lost all of the footage when I dropped a hard drive that was still spinning. That was uh, pretty uh, dramatic. Oh, that was terrible. Anyways, we're here again to ride Leap the Dips and Skyliner a bunch of times, and uh, it's a Saturday and it's uh, quiet. Pretty quiet. So, how about some uh, libations? Yes, uh, Saturday they have a uh, beer garden open. So, it's 5 p.m. and there's no line for Leap the Dips. That's uh, just slightly concerning. Uh, regardless of the current state of the United States, that uh, yeah, that's not good. It looks nice though with all the repainted wood and uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's falling down anymore. Although it feels like it when you ride it. Let me tell you what. All right, four o'clock, Wednesday through Saturday, beer. So the trolley house here at Lake Mont Park is no joke. Look at these pulled pork nachos. They look fantastic, don't they, Jeff? Incredible. And the beer prices are really nice. Reasonable. Like, like four bucks basically. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Very good. You get your value here at Lake Mont Park. So, Charlie House here. Oh, oh. So you can see the dates and times. This uh, is incredible. Yeah, you said, you were like, I was arguing with you if those nachos were homemade. Yeah, they, they fried their own nacho yeah. chips. Yeah. Like, you don't even get that, like, six flags, it's just from a bag. Yeah. And, and the price, everything, everything's really reasonable. And the, the quality is amazing. Yeah. And now we're going to go and, uh, Get our wristbands and uh, ride for the next uh, two hours, three hours, three oh, and a half hours. hours. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready for that? Absolutely. I don't know if you are. Oh no, I'm gonna take those dips like nothing. You're gonna feel it tomorrow. I think that's bad. Wait till you ride it in yeah. the back seat. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be in the old world. It's almost roller coaster. Yeah, I think it'd be a little rough. Oh, God, it's barely making it around either. Jeff, he, no you, you broke a 116 year old roller coaster. I did. You broke the. You see the seat's broken. Yeah, fixed it up. Yeah, right. yeah, there we go. Yeah, different ones. Yes, yeah. mismatch. We've ridden how many times? Like three times now? Oh, three times? Yeah. Uh, you've broken a seat. Uh, bro <laughs> Other people have broken a wheel. We're doing a number on Leap the Dips we're, we're, tonight. We're the <laughs> but man, uh, now that you know, now, how to, now that I know how to ride the back seat, oh, you, you, have to ride you learn it. You learn yeah. it. If you just sit there like a dummy, 
it's, you're it's gonna be in you're gonna be in a world of pain. But uh, it's great. This park is really lively. I mean, like things like this are happening. Uh, it's very nice night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, and I'm pretty sure they're probably making some money off of this. If not, it it's so. if they're not making money, regardless, the, the county is getting their money's worth out of it because people are here doing what they're supposed to be doing, enjoying the park. Enjoying America, enjoying life. And like, what's really nice about here is we really can forget about Corona for the most part. No, I, I'm not worried. No, no, it's it's. Are we the only one with masks? Probably, but I mean, I like being super cautious, and I appreciate you are too. That's fine. Like, I I, I just whole day. I don't think it's that big of a sacrifice. So there we go. And we got to ride in the red car, which I've never ridden before. So I've always been the blue car. I have no idea how many cars are operable. They have like six oh. or so, but like. <laughs> What? That's <laughs> what the field is. What? 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 Oh, there's the back of my head. That's my bald spot. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Hey, man, I broke a seat. Shut up. Just watch. Watch when it hits the double dip. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> my hair is not that great. It's just the camera. <laughs> this right here is just absolutely horrifying to watch. <laughs> God. Isn't it crazy that Drew the intern was able to take his one and a half year old son on this thing? That's perfect. <laughs> you know, they have some extra rides uh, other than what we have already done. You have these four by fours. We have these anti cars that we will do later. Uh, you have the go-karts, which are included. And uh, the little leaper, which is now operating, which is great to see. It was not operating when we were last year. And then also you have a train, paddle boats, and uh, that's about it. But uh, still a lot to do, part. still a lot to do, great even part. though they took out, I, under, I think I'm understanding a little bit why they're doing it. They're probably getting about the same amount of attendance and they don't have to maintain as many rides. As many rides. Yeah. So I was skeptical at first, but it honestly doesn't seem much more crowded than before, so. <laughs>
classic. Yeah, it's so great. It's a great coaster. It runs like like a classic. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, it's not like it's like a top 25 or anything, but it's still a hell of a lot of fun. And the matter of fact is you get to re-ride the heck out of it. And that's, you know, that's like no, rare these is, days. This is a quaint little place where the environment, everything about it makes us a wonderful place. Yeah, yeah. And I was, I was scared about the changes. I was really scared about the changes, but I'm okay with them. No, it's not so bad. I mean, yeah, we, we love that they... I wish they kept a couple of classic... Classics, but like, uh, I didn't assume I got rid of that thing, but uh, I, I some of the uh, a couple of the flat rides, not all, like just had it like one or two. I, I think they have a nice balance here. The price, yeah, the money worth. It's not too overcrowded. It's not too. Expensive. They made some money on selling some of them. They yeah. uh, were able to uh, reduce maintenance costs and it everything. It was a win-win. Yeah, and they worked for them. Lost a couple old chances and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cheers for a great day. Yeah, 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 very good. And as you can see, uh, yeah, it's not so uh, bad. They're making money somehow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it might not be with uh, the rides, but I think I was wrong. Why were you wrong? I thought it was a terrible idea what they did. I was wrong. No, this is a great idea. I, I'm, I'm... It's sad to see all those classic rides go, but they were costing them a lot of money, and they made money selling some of those rides off, the ones that could be salvageable. And for, uh, for business purposes, to keep the place run the way they wanted it to run, it should run, they needed to do what they needed to do. So. Yeah, yeah. And we still have the two classic rides that we wanted to be there anyways. Amen. I mean, Bob and I would kind of like the toboggan, but, you know, I, I can understand. That thing looked probably like it was through hell. Because those are all, like, 56 years oh old. God, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, well, here you go, Kenny. love this course lots of little local information like you know there you go 59 percent of pennsylvania is forested let's go jeff is bright yellow and i am orange raccoon is one of the most intelligent wildlife species, known for their dexterous paws, ring tail, and black mask. There you go. Jeff just noticed that we're playing a zen course, and he's very excited. We'll do the same thing. 
More lovely information about Pennsylvania's flowers. There you go. Oh, cool. Asta. Cone flowers. Trumpet vines. Corver and Bailey. Black bear is Pennsylvania's only native, native bear species. Black. What? Jeez, no! Eastern gray squirrel is native to all of the eastern United States. They hoard food in small hidden catches to eat during the winter. Oh. I didn't get the angle on that. Right. Okay. Nice. Nice. Did you know, Jeff, that the most common rabbit in the eastern United States is the eastern cottontail? Peter Cottontail. There it is. And this is a uh, 360 and it is hell because if you go into the gravel, that is not fun. You're not taking the penalty, you're going for the rocks. Try to tap them down. Good shot. And right in front of me. Oh, at least so be fine. There you go. Hopefully I can get six. <laughs> oh, six. Did you know the beavers is a large aquatic rodent with distinctive tail, flat tail? Industrious builders making dams, canals, and lodges. Beaver. Ooh. Damn, I'm good with my putting skills today. Ooh. There are 85 miles of streams and rivers and over 4,000 lakes in Pennsylvania. There we go. Location for uh, ideal fishing. I like putter cam. Oh! <laughs> oh, hole in two. That sucks. Oh man, I, I feel sorry for you. It still feels like a hole in one though, regardless. Lines too. Putter cam. Coming back. What did, it feel? did you know there are 13 species of tur turtles? There you go. Native to Pennsylvania. There you go. Painted turtles, snapping turtles. Ooh. Turtle view. And I lost that one. That was too hard. Putter cam, back. Action cams exist. You got three. Putter cam for Jeff's sink. Yeah, see, stop saying stuff like that. You're throwing me off. Excuse me. Oh dear. Yeah, we know about this. I'm, I'm not even gonna with this one. <laughs> 
How many deer have you almost hit in your life in Pennsylvania? You've like hit three already. <laughs> okay, I think I've, I've two doe and a buck. I've clipped one in my life. I don't think I've actually hit anything. I cracked my carbon fiber hood in a freaking buck. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh, that's a bummer. And I was. In Oh, come on. Calm down. The big log. There you go. Lots of forests in Pennsylvania. Ooh. I meant to do that, I just wanted to get back up there. Five. <laughs> Six. Seven. I didn't know this one, did you? Oh yeah, Pennsylvania is one of the largest growers of mushrooms in the United States. Hmm. That's why you drive past uh, you know, the Redding or whatever it stinks. Watch out for some of these uh, mushrooms, they're a little speck. What the hell are these things? What? Yeah, we couldn't figure that out um, last time we were here. I don't know. I think it was an old hole that just left it. Oh, he almost bounced into it. I don't know. Oh, s close to the man. Three, two. Is that two for me? No, three for me. No, three. Now this is the most obvious one, right? Mr. Groundhog. Mr. Groundhog, Punsatani Phil. There he is. He's very devious looking. Oh, come on. Get in the hole. <laughs> that sucks. Get a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap. Can we just wait for like a wind to come by? No. This is a cool one. Did you know all the original bridges were created from tree limbs around the park? Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just random. Yeah. Oh! That's horse. Watch how it's done, Jeff. Gotcha. Got a lot riding on this now. Yeah, you just. Yeah, I hope you butt catch that. Nice. Three, two, two, and three. Did you know that the catfish, the bullhead, flathead, and channel catfish are extremely common in Pennsylvania lakes and rivers and can grow to exceptional sizes? I don't think they can grow this big, though. That... That was a really long shot. That's fine. Ooh. There you go, foxes. Yep, both gray and red foxes are Pennsylvania natives. You see these guys all the time. Oh yeah, a little bit of difficulty. There you go. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh! Putter cam for the win. Considering the last hole is either a one or a two. Oh, oh! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Oh. Damn, I wish we could have shared the holes in ones. That would have been fun. I like Pennsylvania. Do you like this course? What do you think? Really yeah, cool it's nice. Yeah. And, and the, um, the little the fiberglass figures are pretty cute. Yeah, it's very cute. Uh, the other, it's it's fun, but it's um, it doesn't have the, the coolness of these facts and stuff. Yeah, these are basic. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hole and one on the free game hole that you don't get a free game on. Two for me. No, you got to 60, 52 mm. by four. Yeah. You got me. Not bad, no. Good game. Yeah, good game. Yep. I highly suggest it. If you play both holes, basically that would be what you would be spending at a miniature golf place. And you, uh, that's, you know, because miniature golf is about $5 a, a go at most places. Some places even more. 
Oh, and go. this place is uh, 17 bucks. So, yeah. Now we gotta use hand sanitizer after touching the balls. Here we go, Alan. This one's for you. Aren't those fast for oh, empty cars? Yeah. <laughs> That's why they're fast. All right, we're not gonna skip the go karts because they go on forever, and uh, I'd rather be riding a roller coaster. Besides, those things felt like go karts anyways. Those antique cars. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty awesome. How many times do you run it? Like ten times? Count, huh? Like ten times or something Not like that? that oh, it's beautiful. It had to be. It was incredible. Yeah, I stuck to uh, the third row, which has like ridiculous ejector oh, airtime. This is schmecking it. Yeah, it's Allen, but it has a schmeck seat. Yeah. And uh, the, at least the one hill at the top of the. Oh, well, the second drop. Or yeah, the right there. Hill. And yeah. you get a terrible pothole. Oh. And it's like the pothole is so bad that it actually gives you airtime in the pothole. And then you're back up and down. Oh, God. It's so beautiful. And, uh, Talk about closing the park. Yeah, yeah it's a bit <laughs> Don't trip. <laughs> so uh, this, is, this is how you do it. This is how we used to do it when we were kids. Yeah, uh, I love this place. It's this it's so old school. Um, I mean, Knobles doesn't even feel this old school anymore. No, no. So this not that Knobles is bad or anything, but it's uh, it's too modernized. I don't say it's don't, too modernized. It feel the same way it did back in the day. This feels like an old school park. Like yeah, you, like. They care about you using your camera or something like that. regulations, you know. Uh, and not like when we were using our cameras, we weren't being like super safe. Like, no, we're acting like idiots. No, no. So, anyways, you guys can't see anything. So yeah, it's it's awesome. This park is totally worth it. We'll, we'll we'll wrap it up when we're by the mini golf course. That's lit. Right. So uh, that is it from Lake Mont Park. Uh, after five o'clock, it's like seventeen. Oh seven. Seven. Oh seven. So you get your value with. We probably took. Oh my goodness. We took probably close to 20 rides, so right there, our ride count, our ride per ride was like a had, dollar, if that. We had 10 rides on uh, Leap the Dips, we had at least 15 something rides. Right, and then we did mini golf, so yeah. it's more than worth your value. You're not going to get a better value here, even with the, the day. And then you could spend 20, 21-ish dollars and, and ride all day from like, I, I'd get bored after a little while though, probably. <laughs> and seriously, and the fact that it's a Saturday, it's a beautiful day, and the park wasn't busy, it was quiet. Yeah, but there were a lot of people doing other things, which was nice to see. It wasn't, the rides were pretty quiet, but everything else was, uh, yeah, it was very, very, it was very busy. Family parkish. Yeah, uh, I hope this is working out for them. We'll see. 
in time. I definitely came back here because I lost all my footage and I didn't want it to be my last chance of getting footage of Leaf the Dips. Keep so. your fingers crossed or keep in the dips. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching the Coaster Divide. This has been Alex. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you from a tour and review of the Land Make Believe.